going to take you through the process that real astronomers go through in studying an open cluster of stars. But first, what is an open cluster and why do they matter? Open clusters are bunches of a few hundred stars of different masses that hang around together and form in the spiral arms of our galaxy. The clusters form at different times, but each cluster is made up of the same star, at the same place, at the same time. So all the stars in a cluster are at the same age, and all of the stars are roughly at the same distance from Earth. Open clusters are important because they are the only way we can test our theories about the life cycles of stars. Comparing the various stars in different open clusters can tell us about how our Sun came to be, about how it's going to evolve, and about how it's going to end its life. By mapping where they are, we can trace the young stars in the spiral arms of our galaxy, the Milky Way. There's another type of star cluster called a globular cluster. But that's a story for another day. So how do astronomers study these objects? It's not just a matter of looking through a telescope and making observations. Using a big telescope like this one in Hawaii, the Fawkes Telescope North, they get a series of photographs through different filters and then measure the brightness of these stars in the different colours. This tells them about the temperature of the star. They then graph this information as colour-colour diagrams that help show how much dust and gas there is between Earth and the cluster, and then use colour magnitude diagrams to determine the cluster's age, distance and what it's made of. And when this is done for thousands of open clusters, we get a picture about the history of star formation in our galaxy and about how individual stars evolve. And it's not just astronomers who can study things up there. Anyone who's interested can. High school students can do real science at school. I studied the open cluster NGC 2215 in collaboration with astronomers and two other students. And this led to our work being submitted to an astronomical journal for publication. This cluster is just one of millions and billions in this amazing and expanding universe. There is still so much out there waiting to be discovered. Mm -hmm.